Number 141. I pick up energies and thoughts from other people and perhaps entities too, and I am trying to keep my vibrational level high. However, there are dark energies there that try to drag me down. Quit focusing on them and will them to go away from you. They will move away from you. You will attract what you think about, so avoid focusing on them. In the meantime, you can examine your own thoughts, patterns, and belief systems. What is it about you that attract dark energies? Identify it and eliminate it and your problem should be solved. Number 142. I have had three excellent involuntary projections, but whenever I try to voluntarily project, my astral body just moves out of physical body but comes back due to fear. What should I do in such a situation? You need to deal with the fear. If you are frightened, it will be very difficult for you to succeed. You need to understand your fear and find out what exactly you are afraid of, and you need a little courage to face that fear once. When you face your fears, they will vanish. Number 143. Can I learn to project in the daytime when I need to, without having to induce sleep first? To astral project, your body needs to go to sleep while your mind is wide awake. You can project in the daytime if you wish, but you will have to put your body to sleep so that your astral can break free of it. Number 144. I am kind of scared of the dark. Can I astral project? Try astral projecting at daytime. You can do it first thing in the morning. At the same time, try overcoming your fear of the dark. Fear is the biggest impediment to successful astral traveling. Number 145. Is it possible that on a subconscious level there is some kind of fear that is interfering with projection? And if so, what can I do to conquer my fears? These unknown fears, lurking in the depths of your unconscious, usually surface during meditation and dream work. Go into your meditative state and ask yourself what is it that you fear most. Accept the answers, and then try to analyze exactly why you are afraid of that fear. Then ask yourself what is the harm that fear can do to you. In probably all cases, you will find that your fears are nothing to be afraid of. Number 146. Do I need to fix the things that stop me from doing astral traveling? Yes. If you want to astral travel, you must. You need to eliminate every doubt, fear, thought, and belief that prevents you from having an astral projection. Number 147. I often get body jerks while projecting, and I fear them. How can I remove this fear? Body jerks are very common when you are trying to project, and it is a very positive sign. There is nothing to be afraid of, and affirm this to yourself. Always remember any positive sign takes you one step closer to projection. Number 148. Is it possible that I will not be able to return? You will always be able to return. Just think of your physical body and you will find yourself back in it. Number 149. How do I return to my body? Just think about your body. Decide to get back to it. As soon as you think about your physical body, you will find yourself attracted to it. And soon you will be sucked back into it. Trust me, you may have problems staying out of your body, but never have problems getting back. Number 150. I am from Hungary. I often have spontaneous out-of-body experiences while sleeping, but I have never tried it on purpose. I cannot pay for your book. I've just read the introductory part of your book. If you cannot pay for the book, you can still learn a lot from this Q&A. But having a book or guide definitely makes things easier. Number 151. How can someone get into the astral plane but not die? The phenomenon of getting out of your body and into the astral plane without dying is called astral projection. You do it every night when you are asleep, but you are unconscious of it. When you do it consciously, you are astral projecting. Your body will be asleep, not dead, and you will be in the astral plane. When you are astral projecting, you are always connected to your physical body using an energy code called the silver cord. This cord never breaks except during the time of death. Number 152. What are the physical risks whilst astral projecting? 
There are no physical risks involved with astral projection. Your physical body will be perfectly relaxed and sleeping while your astral body will be exploring and learning. People with a weak heart or other major ailments should avoid projecting. Number 153. I have a really busy schedule and I am unable to take out time to practice astral projection. Also, when I reach home at night, I am too tired to practice. Any tips for me? If you really want to astral project, you must set aside some time for practice. You can try to spare some time in the mornings or during weekends. If even that is not possible, you can try astral projecting through lucid dreams. This will not require any additional time for you, and you can do it at night after you sleep. Number 154. I used to be able to project easily, but my life is now in such stress I do not seem to be able to relax enough to project. Is there anything I can do? Are there any special techniques that I could apply? You need to overcome stress and take it easy. What is putting you under stress? If possible, eliminate the stressful situation from your life. There are a number of stress relief techniques out there. I would suggest daily meditation, yoga, and pranayama, or deep breathing exercises. Number 155. Whenever I try to relax, I fall asleep. How can I prevent this? Are you very tired when you try to relax? If so, try it out when you are feeling fresh, wide awake, and energetic. You might try practicing in the morning, soon after getting up. Number 156. When I astral project, I guess I will be astrally awake throughout the night. Will this make me tired from lack of sleep? Your physical body needs to sleep, not your astral body. So, you will not feel tired. What's more, you won't have any lack of sleep. Remember that your physical body is blissfully sleeping when your astral body is exploring the astral realms outside it. Number 157. Can stress prevent me from astral projecting? Yes, it can. Stress prevents you from relaxing completely, and in order to astral project, you need to relax completely so that your mind remains awake when your physical body goes to sleep. Number 158. After complete relaxation, I can reach the stage where my body is 100% asleep, but my mind is 100% awake. What should I do now? What should be my next step? Leave your body. Try any technique that works for you. Some people focus on their third eye, and this leads to astral projection. Some people imagine themselves light and floating toward the ceiling. You can try a technique that you are comfortable with and get out. Number 159. I once practiced and felt as if my entire body was electrocuted. I totally freaked out. What was that? You had reached the vibrational stage, one of the symptoms of successful astral projection. If you had stayed calm and observed what was happening objectively without freaking out, you might have had a successful astral projection. Try again, and next time you reach that stage, don't panic and just know that you are very close to success. Number 160. I often get intense vibrations throughout my body, but I cannot go beyond that point. If you reach the vibrational stage, the hard part is done. You just need to exercise a strong willpower and visualize yourself floating up. If you feel it is fear that's preventing you, check out my previous answers on how to overcome fear and get done with it. Trust me, you are very close to a successful conscious astral projection. Number 161. How do I begin to feel the vibrations? Before getting into the vibration stage, you need to relax your body completely. Are you able to relax completely and reach the stage of sleep paralysis? You will then begin to vibrate shortly after which you will astral project. Number 162. What is astral paralysis? Astral paralysis happens either before the astral body is about to leave the physical body or after it returns to your body. During this state, you might find that your physical body is in a state of paralysis and you are unable to move. This happens to most people, and it is quite natural. If this happens before projection, then rejoice because you are very close to success. If it happens after projection, just wait a few moments and it will go away. Number 163. 
You say there is never a problem getting back into your body, but I used to often find myself in that paralyzed state and it would last many minutes and it really panicked me. Yes, there is never a problem getting back into your body. If you were paralyzed, that means you were already back in your body. This is a very common occurrence and a very healthy one. You need not panic. Number 164. Sometimes when I'm meditating, I feel completely paralyzed. Is this normal? You are experiencing something called sleep paralysis or astral paralysis. Your body is fast asleep, but your mind is awake. This is the ideal situation for astral projection. Number 165. How does one maintain concentration after the vibrations start in order to exit? You need to exercise willpower to stay calm and focused and avoid getting into a panic. Just try to observe objectively and calmly. With some practice, you will be able to maintain concentration during the time of exit. You then have to focus on just one thought, getting out. Use the several visualization techniques available for a successful exit. Number 166. I get vibrations, but I do not hear any kind of a buzzing sound in my ears. Why? Some people hear the buzzing sound, but many don't, so that's perfectly alright. Every individual is unique and has unique experiences prior to astral projection. Number 167. Does having sex limit one's ability to astral project? There are two schools of thoughts. The first group feels having sex does not limit one's ability to project. However, Others believe that having sex uses quite a lot of energy from our bodies, and this prevents us from projecting immediately after. I belong to the first school. Number 168. Is sex on the astral plane possible? Yes, it is. Many astral projectors have astral sex in the astral plane. Number 169. Why is astral sex so much more intense than human-to-human -human contact? Astral sex is much more intense because you are interacting at an energy level, which offers unlimited possibilities. Two entities can completely merge into each other and enjoy a greater level of intimacy at the astral level. Moreover, the emotion of love is more meaningful and more intense in the astral than in the physical. Number 170. Do special binaural music help significantly in the relaxation process? Binaural beats serve as a catalyst in the relaxation process. You will be able to relax faster if you listen to binaural beats. Number 171. I have binaural beats, and I bought the ones specifically for astral projection. Will they work instantly? You must first try them to find out their effects on you. Different techniques work for different people. However, you must realize that in order to use binaural beats effectively, you should combine it with the proper relaxation, visualization, and meditation techniques. Number 172. The companies that create binaural beats guarantee that they will work. But I haven't succeeded yet, so should I just continue to use them to see results? Are you sure you are not just listening to them? If you don't combine listening to binaural beats with the right relaxation, visualization, and meditation techniques, they may not give you the best results. Number 173. Is it really possible to meet deceased loved ones? My wife passed away in April last year. I really miss her. Can I see her? It is possible, but not always. It depends on where your wife is at that time. She may have ascended to higher planes for her own spiritual evolution, or she might have taken rebirth. But if she is still there, and your mutual attachment was strong enough, it is possible that she might appear. Number 174. Can I take someone with me during my astral adventures? You can take a trusted friend with you. Groups of astral projection students have astral projected together and traveled to exotic places. Number 175. Can I see my friends and relatives in other country during astral projection? Yes, you can visit your friends and relatives, but for that, you will need to clearly visualize the person and really want to see him or her. The more emotionally you are attached, the easier it will be for you to visit.
Number 176. Can others see me when I am projecting? Normally people cannot see you when you are projecting. Experienced mediums can see in the astral and they can see you. Number 177. Can I visit people in the real world and talk to their subconscious minds while projecting? Yes, you can, but you cannot control their thoughts. Number 178. Have you ever seen God or Jesus? No, I have not seen God or Jesus, but I have seen and been with divine guides. Number 179. If I am in the astral, can I pull another person out of the body if they are willing? Yes, you can help someone else achieve astral projection if they are willing. You can even ask the help of a trusted friend on earth or your spirit guide in the astral realm to help you astral project. Number 180. How can I find a good master in the astral world who will guide me to higher places? And when I get back to my body, will I remember talking to him or her? We have all heard that the master will appear when the student is ready. This is particularly true here. The master will find you if you think of him or her often enough and sincerely request his or her help. You have to be willing to learn and evolve. Affirm to yourself that you will remember all your astral experiences when you wake up in your physical body. With practice, you will be able to remember everything in detail. Number 181. Who is my astral guide? Only you can know who your astral guide is. Or sometimes, you will not know till the time they reveal themselves to you. They usually appear by your side when you think of them or request their help. Or you might just hear a loving, guiding voice. Any benign being that appears eager to help you and makes you feel comfortable is your astral guide. Number 182. Should I call in my angels and ask for special help when I'm trying to do this? If you wish, you may. You can request the help of ascended masters, guardian angels, God, Jesus, or anybody else you trust to help you and to protect you when you astral project. But exercise your due prudence while calling someone. Number 183. When on positive astral projections, I am accompanied by a being of light. Why can I only see that being's feet? Next time, request the being to show him or herself fully and see if there are any changes. Number 184. Are you familiar with robed people on the astral plane? What do you know about them? I am sorry. I am not familiar with robed people on the astral plane. Number 185. Can anyone go to the higher planes? Like where the angels are? You can. But before that, you have to raise your vibrations to suit those of the higher planes. A lot of soul work and spiritual development is required before you can do that. Number 186. How is it different that I can recall my near-death experiences so vividly? Near-death experiences can be very emotionally charged because a person gets a new lease of life. During near-death experiences, most people report seeing their entire past flash before them. This has a profound impact on the person, and it can completely transform his or her life. Number 187. What are the Akashic Records and how can I access them? Akashic Records is a name given to a huge cosmic library that contains a record of every thought, word, and deed since the beginning of the world. This cosmic library also contains records of lives lived, lessons learned, and blueprints of lives yet to be lived. People with psychic abilities can peep into the Akashic Records. You can do so too, but you have to work a lot on developing your psychic abilities. Astral projection will help you do that. Number 188. Can you help me astral project? Please come to my bedside and guide me. If you ever look at the life cycle of a butterfly, you will see that it tries hard to come out of the cocoon. This makes their wings stronger so that it can face the world outside. If someone broke open the cocoon to make it easier for the butterfly, it would never be able to develop strong wings and muscles, and would probably die soon after coming out. Although I love to help people through my books and courses, I really cannot go around pulling people out of their bodies. Moreover, it is not right because I am no one to decide what is the right time for you to achieve success. What I know is this. If you practice diligently enough and follow what I teach, you will succeed. Number 189. 
My mind is like a chattering monkey. How can I stop my mind from wandering? How can I focus? Observe the chatter and have fun doing so. Don't try to follow your thoughts or analyze them. Just see them come and go. Soon you will realize that your chattering decreases and eventually stops. Number 190. What state of mind do you have to be in to achieve this state? Before you astral project, ensure that you are as positive, calm, peaceful, and contented as possible. If you are in a state of stress or excitement, you will find it difficult to relax, and relaxation is the first step to astral projection.